So remember the video from a couple weeks ago I did where this reef tank had crashed? Well, I just wanted to give you an update on it. Things are going well. Um, the technique that I used worked fine. And let's just go through it now and take a look and we'll do an update. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of livestock already in this tank. Um, if you didn't watch the prior video, um, it's titled My Reef Tank Crashed and I'll uh, put a card up above and I'll try to remember to link it below, but it's from a few weeks ago. But anyway, kind of as a reminder um, or as a review, um, I don't know, before Christmas, um, so at some point, I came downstairs one day and noticed there was no flow in the tank, noticed uh, that the return pump in my sump had gone out, and I'm not quite sure how long it was for, but it was probably at least a day, maybe longer. I wasn't able to revive, I, you know, I lost all the corals and some of the fish. I did save some of the fish, so in that video um, you can check it out and see what I did, but the technique I used worked. Within a few days of me resetting it, the tank was fully cycled. Ammonia was down to zero, nitrate and nitrate were um, also at zero, and everything was uh, running smoothly like it had been in the past. So um, I slowly started adding corals. The first thing I picked up was this awesome torch right here. Um, I'm super happy with it. Um, you know, sometimes when you bring a coral home, it ends up uh, being a lot bigger than it looked in the store, and this was definitely the case. Um, it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but there was some of the same type, just a little bit bigger, that were quite a bit more money, so I feel like I made out like a bandit. The other thing I did was I took part of a split from my big NEM in the uh, 125 and brought it into this tank and it settled nicely right in front and center, which is pretty cool because any NEM I've ever put in this tank um, has always decided to kind of go in the back or on the side, usually over in this area um, are where the NEMs historically have liked to settle. So, and then I took a little bit of a frag of the trumpet, um, these green trumpets here and uh, brought it over as well and then I let things sit for a while um, the next thing I did is I took um, some of my Monty's as you can see there's one on the back wall one on the rock there a couple green ones and then a red one back there um, took some pieces from the 125 and brought them over and then I picked up a couple more corals this is a small hammer here that I need to move um, I think it's getting too much flow and it just doesn't want to open like it should and then this other frog spawn here that's doing really nice and then a Duncan. The Duncan I originally had placed on this rock and it was just staying closed. So I moved it two days ago and it's finally starting to open up. Um, and then I waited another week or two, a couple weeks I guess. And then this past weekend I found the mother load, this awesome frog spawn colony here that hasn't even completely opened up yet. But I picked this up, it's got 40 heads on it and the amount of money I paid for it was just ridiculous. Um, I, let's just say I made out like a bandit and that's all I'm gonna say, but um, it was a super good find and one of those deals where you're just in the right place at the right time. Picked it up from my LFS and uh, really, really looking forward to seeing how this thing does in here. It's hard to put it into perspective, but the thing's probably as big as I mean, it's, it's probably the size of three softballs put together, maybe. Um, four heads broke off when I was trying to put it in here, so I did put those in the 125. I'll show you that in a little bit. Then at the same time, I picked up two nice mushrooms, um, some type of Recordia, 10 bucks a piece, again, a steal. And uh, I'm gonna move these around a little bit, but for right now, they're just right here and they're doing good, so. Um, I've got a cleanup crew. I'll be adding, hopefully, um, a couple more pieces of livestock as far as uh, one fish and a couple of shrimp soon. So I'll update you on that. Um, had a little bit of a bad experience with the cleanup crew. Um, I'm not gonna name names, but the company I ordered from um, used a heat pack, but they didn't insulate the box. I'm in Minnesota and uh, you can see there's some um, dead dead snails and stuff like that in the front here. Um, 
and uh, that's disappointing. But I let him know about it, and you know we'll see what happens. Other than that, um, I'm just enjoying this tank, uh, letting things kind of go slowly, although it does seem like since the time I posted that last video, there's quite a bit of additions. Keep in mind that that video was posted um, a few weeks after it really happened. So this is going on about well over a month since the tank crashed and things are things are looking really nice. So. I won't uh, keep keep this video too long, but um, you know if you like what you saw, um, check out my playlist. I've got other videos on this reef tank uh, from basically the start. Um, there's a playlist called the Coral Life 29 BioCube Build. I've also got videos on my 125 gallon build, and then I just do updates on those as well as uh, my cichlid tanks and my freshwater dwarf shrimp tanks. So. Um, if you're new to my channel and like what you see, uh, I'd appreciate it if you do subscribe. Um, you know, subscribing to videos, uh, watching them, and liking videos um, really help me out. Uh, let me know what you think of the tank after um, what I've done to it and the additions I've made. Let me know if you have any ideas on corals that you think I should add. Uh, make sure to post that kind of stuff in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching.